Cora TV. The world is thinking. The, the, the banana man's um, partner, um, <laughs> Kurt Cameron, um, uh, was, was, was supposed to be debating with me um, on the Bill O'Reilly show. <laughs> I was invited to go on the Bill O'Reilly show, indeed I did go on the Bill O'Reilly show, it was recorded this afternoon, uh, and um, they phoned up and said, uh, would I mind if Kirk Cameron came on <laughs> as well? And they explained that he was the banana man's sidekick, the one, <laughs> the one, who, the one who grins to one side in that Monty Python sketch where, the, where they do the, you know. <laughs> You study a well-made banana. That, that, that one. Um, anyway, I, I, I for once departed from my usual rule and, I, and, and my publisher persuaded me it was a good thing. I said, oh, all right, I'll do it. Um, and then the next thing I knew, uh, Kirk Cameron had withdrawn. <coughs> Maybe he had a very good reason. I'm, I'm not saying anything. But, but more seriously, what, why, why would I uh, de decline to debate with, with, with creationists? Would you, if you were a, um, a geographer, agree to have a debate with a flat earther? <laughs> there comes a point when you have to say you are, uh, by, by, by agreeing to appear on a platform with somebody like that, you are giving them status. If a real scientist appears on a, on a platform, uh, if, a, say, a reproductive scientist appeared on a platform with an advocate of the stalk theory of... <laughs> Um, but I will, I will say this, that um, uh, I've never actually dared to use the formula that my colleague Robert May, Lord May, who is one of Britain's most, actually he's Australian, come to think of it, um, uh, most distinguished scientist, uh, he, he was the government uh, chief scientific advisor for a while and then president of the Royal Society. Um, what he says when he's asked to have a debate with a, with a creationist is, that would look great on your CV, not so good on mine. 